Let's talk about terminal creation from a global setting inside of ThinManager. Uh, if I come over here to my ThinManager uh, icon here in the system tree and whatnot, and you see over here on the left hand side where it says my primary, and if I double click on that green icon for ThinManager, you'll notice that it brings up the ThinManager server configuration wizard. And when I click on the next button down at the bottom, it takes me to an unknown terminals page. Now, uh, the importance of this page is basically because it controls and uh, the creation and replacement of terminals through the use of passwords or auto creation. Um, so let's talk about the settings themselves. The first uh, checkbox that you come to is allow unknown terminals to connect. Now this checkbox, if it's selected, lets no, new terminals be added to the Thin Manager server. Uh, replacements of uh, new terminals are prevented if this box is unchecked. Once again, this is a global setting. Um, also, if you come down here, you'll notice there's a required password of unknown terminals. Um, now, if this checkbox is selected, it allows the use of a password so that only authorized personnel can add terminals to the Thin Manager server. If checked, the password fields become active. So if I check on this right now, you'll notice that those become active and we can allow the addition of those passwords at whatever you want to apply in your area. Um, the third feature on this page is the automatic terminal creation. Now, the reason for this, if this box is actually checked here, um, it allows the auto creation of an array of different terminals as described in the auto creation of terminals right there, whatever the name is going to be. We can continue to do that easily um, in a large deployment. Now, the auto create mask, the part of that is for, is the field, is the base name that's going to be used in that array of terminals when you're using the auto creation of terminals. So, in essence, if I say right here auto term and I create five or six different new terminals using this auto create, then therefore they're going to be labeled auto term one, auto term two, auto term three, auto term four, and so forth. You can change that mask to whatever you want it to be, whether it's plant floor, uh, layer one, layer two, HMI five, whatever you want to do. The naming convention is completely up to you. Now, you might ask yourself, why would I want to change from the default settings? Well, requiring a password can control who adds terminals in your environment and that might be useful for you uh, as well as using auto creation can be helpful in some very large deployments so if you have uh, some needs in this respect and you wanted to know how to change some terminal configurations and the adding and creating of terminals from a global perspective you can easily do this inside of Thin Manager from the Thin Manager server configuration wizard For more tips and gems, please visit thinmanager.com.